Hey guys, welcome back to Life in the 314. Today we interviewed Jamie and Lauren Eicher of Eicher Photography. Now, let's get into the video. from the 314 and we're with Iker Photography. <laughs> Hope you enjoy this interview. So what inspired you to start a business together? So honestly I would say we kind of like snowballed weddings after weddings after weddings where we we joked about starting a business and then yeah. it just start like it just happened. It was like a really really lucky situation where we built the portfolio with people just asking us to shoot their weddings like friends. And then after we started joking about it, not, I wouldn't say joking, more like just tossing out the idea. I mean, yeah, picture yeah. like I'm a sophomore in college, so it's not, I'm not thinking about starting a business, I'm like studying to be a teacher. The biggest thing for me is the client relationships, so we just become friends with all of our clients and like shoot weddings on like the best day of their lives, you know? Yeah. And we're just around really happy people, and so it's just a really, um, positive experience like every single time so we're pretty lucky in that regard yeah and I think adding to that I really like the aspect of giving people something that they can enjoy for the rest of their lives so it's like cool that like a wedding day is a big deal and there's a lot of pressure riding on that for us to deliver good photographs so if we can give them something that they're going to be happy with for the rest of their lives that's pretty meaningful to me could you tell us more about the future plans for Iker Photography? In the next couple months, we're going to be traveling. Kind of every summer this happens, we travel all over the country to shoot weddings. Um, and that's just part of the job. And to me, I would like to be traveling less. Um, I like traveling, and it's cool to see other places, but I also like just being in one place. Um, so for me, that's the idea behind San Francisco is we're not going to travel as much. We're going to be in a really beautiful place where we love to shoot all the time. So Over Christmas time, we started advertising for San Francisco. So now we're trying to go to a whole new set of people and just it's a very different clientele out in California. And it's actually going pretty well for us already. So that's good. But we're having to think like ahead, pretty far ahead. So yeah, we're booking not, for 2018 in a whole new state that we've never booked in. So, cool. um, what is the one piece of advice you would give to young adults pursuing their interests? My advice would be like go try six new things, like see what you love, and that's a luxury to be able to try all those things. And it takes finances, it takes flexibility, and but as much as you can try new things, that would be my advice. Try something if you're going to go for it. Put like all your effort into it. What is one thought that helps you through tough times or how to face challenges? I having a, like a morning routine where we like do yoga and we take care of ourselves and we have breakfast and just like <laughs> simple, simple things, things. But you like when you get into the work world, like you forget to eat breakfast. You forget to like take give yourself, yourself a little bit more time to actually like prep yourself for the day. You kind of just jump into it and it starts to feel a little bit messier cliche because like people say it all the time but like it's in the tough times that you grow and so um, when we have things that are tough or that come up that are harder than they normally are I it's helpful I guess to know that I'm growing from that experience um, and that's kind of the biggest way that um, it makes me feel just a little bit more comfort in those tough times but it's still hard but yeah and is what is a quote or motto that you live by or what is, that, is an idea that you think represents your motives in life? Okay, so something that I think is helpful in life, living day by day, is to have gratitude. Um, whether you write that down or you start off your day saying gratitude, sometimes at night we ask each other before we go to bed what we're grateful for. And it's just good to be, in, um, to be aware of how much good you have in your life and also the privilege you have in your life, how lucky you are. But then um, the more you see that, the more good comes into your life. I believe. Um, you should always be willing to grow. No matter where you are in life, don't act like you know everything. Be willing to ask questions and um, be humble.
Right. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And our social media links will be down below. <laughs> Bye, guys. Someday, when you're old enough to get married, think of us, Iker Photography, because this video is going to go viral, and everybody's going to want to hire us. Have us shoot your wedding. Hire Iker Photography.